Transition Runoff Tuesday. I'm Jane. This is Joe in the great state of Georgia where a key Senate race is happening today, Tuesday. We're going to talk about um, disability rights and voting. Going to give you a little quick history primer on um, the evolution of voting rights for people with disabilities in America. Started off with the Voting Rights Act of 1965, giving people with disabilities the right to have help with voting from a person of their choice. Um, we know this in education as a 504 plan, which guarantees access for people with disabilities. Um, 1973 Rehabilitation Act attempted to strengthen regulations to put voting standards in place. It prompted the longest sit-in at a federal building in history, 25 days. People with disabilities sat at the federal building in San Francisco. If you want to know more about it, there's a really good documentary called Crip Camp on Netflix. I think it's still on Netflix. Um, they, that's one of the main things that you learn about um, in that. And it, it's an amazing achievement. Those, those advocates were amazing. 1984, the Voting Accessibility for the Elderly and Handicapped Act required all registration facilities and polling places to be accessible. So they were trying to strengthen the, the law. They, they, there were standards, but there was no accountability. And so you're seeing the history of the evolution of voter uh, rights for people with disabilities happening on a timeline. 1990. The Americans with Disabilities Act, which was a far-reaching piece of legislation which provided standards for ensuring all people with disabilities have access to public facilities. This one is the most recent one. Y'all have probably heard of it. 2002 Help America Vote Act created minimum standards to improve the voting system and election administration. There's more. Who knew? 2005, the Election Assistance Commission adopts mandatory voting. I gotta start over. The 2005 Election Assistance Commission adopts voluntary voting guidelines for polling places. So what are we talking about guidelines? That all refers to accessibility. The ADA is about accessibility, all of its accessibility. What is the root of this? Joe is gonna tell you. Joe, do you think it's important for people with disabilities to be heard? Do you think it's important for people to be heard? Tell me with your voice. Use your voice, dude. Is it important that people hear what you need to live a good life? Can you tell me with your voice? <laughs> Can you touch my hand if you think it's important? Yes. It is very important. Very important. So what is access? Understanding what's on the ballot. And this is for anybody not just people with disabilities. People who need large print books need access at the polls. People who have trouble hearing, 
You know, we've got baby boomers who are experiencing disability as older Americans. These rules apply to you guys too. Being able to read and mark a ballot independently. Poll workers who are trained in ADA compliance and um, voting with a guardian. So people who have guardianship of uh, a person with a disability, that person still has the right to register to vote and to vote. Um, Social Security, um, when you apply for Social Security or when you update any kind of federal paperwork, for programs and services for people with disabilities, there typically is a voter registration form or access to that. Why? Because voting is important. It's a right for everybody. Also, finding answers to questions. That's accessibility, part of accessibility. So when people go to the polls on uh, today, sometime today, if you haven't already done absentee voting or early voting, today is the day. It's the last day to make your voice heard. Georgia poll rules. If you're over 75 or have a disability, if you go to the polls between the hours of 9.30 and 4.30, 9.30 a.m., and 4.30 p.m., then you will not have to wait in line. In-person voting assistance is available at all polling places, all times of the day. If you have any questions or you want to take a peek at um, some of these rules, go to SOS, which stands for Secretary of State, .georgia.gov voters with disability search for that and you'll get to the place the page you need to be if you would like to see a sample ballot before you go to the polls today georgia.gov slash view sample ballot and then you will log into my voter page it will ask you questions about like your zip code and it'll tell you if you're registered to vote and where your polling place is, and it will offer you a sample ballot. So please go vote. It's so important. And after you do, you will get a sticker. Who doesn't love that? So we will see you next week. Happy runoff day, and thanks for watching.